guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this is just going to be a really, really short video because something went down last night and that explains why I'm in my land room. <laughs> because my grandfather went to hospital last night because his heart was beating too fast. They're trying to slow it down. So, my grandmother was, my grandmother was here overnight. So, I gave her my bed room and I slept out in the land room. And my father's truck stopped working. He's just got it fixed and he's just left the house now. So this might be a very, very short video. And I think my mother's going to be home at like 10 o'clock or something. I don't particularly know. But yeah, I did want to film today. So I will try and do that. So obviously I've been up for quite some time now. It's like, it's 9-11. I've got my Apple Watch on. So it's actually not 11 past nine. So I've already had my breakfast. And I was gonna go down to, um, I don't know. I was gonna go down to Brisbane to watch a movie so I could give more of an entertainment to you guys but I think I've got like stuff to do here as well and not only that I need to start packing, getting stuff ready for my hospital bag and I don't want to waste money on the cinemas <laughs> so yeah I want to get up I want to hang some washing out because my father asked me to do it so that the washing doesn't go moldy if that makes sense so and speaking of my undercut my mother has fixed it and she's neatened it up on both sides so you'll see that later on once i straighten and do my hair so yeah now i think i might just leave my bed light the like this until I figure out what's going on with my grandfather because I'm not too sure if my nan grandma was going to stay another night or what's to go but I do have her dog outside my house in the backyard in my backyard so I do have a dog there so yeah and also update on my daughter I am 35 weeks today so I've only got five more weeks to go and at this stage she's actually laying because a couple of weeks ago I got my very 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 you cannot believe it but I've never ever gotten a cramp in my life I've never once gotten a cramp in my life and a couple of weeks ago I experienced my first cramp and yesterday morning around about seven o'clock I got another cramp. So she's actually laying on some of my nerves in my body that's making me cramp. And it, and being my first cramp ever and my second cramp ever, it's actually quite painful. I've experienced and I've realised that they're quite painful. So I've been trying to be very, very careful and sleeping in different spots so she doesn't lay on any of my nerves. But they've been quite painful. And my mum trying to taught me of how to get rid of a cramp if one does happen. Is to try to like stretch your leg out and bend your feet back. And that will hopefully like stop the cramp. If that makes sense. So. Yeah. So I'm going to get up. Because I've been laying in my bed for like about the last five minutes. Because I've been up and about doing stuff with my, mom, with my father and that. And I've been talking about my budget too. And I've already had breakfast. So. Yeah. So I'm up. <laughs> I have to get off my back. For a bit before before I do go and get up completely because if I don't get off my back, back's 
starts to hurt, I can't lay on my back very long. And that's because ba baby's getting a bit bigger. My daughter's getting a bit bigger. She's starting to lay on my back, if that makes sense. And that's what's hurting my back. So it's actually, it's not so much my higher back, it's my lower back that's starting to hurt. So if I lay on my back for a long period of time, it hurts. <laughs> and my dog is outside and he does not like to be outside because he's outside because my grandmother's dog is not allowed inside because he he's not completely house trained yet. He actually did tinkle <laughs> on my father and mother's bed last night. So he's been outside since he's got here. But apart from that, I've got really nothing else to say. So we'll be back. I've got to hang out the washing and I'll be back after I get changed and I put my face on and do my hair so I can show you the outfit of the day. Really. So I'll be stay tuned for then. This might be a very short video. But I can't really help that. Because I'm not used to the camera talking in front of people. And most of my family's going to be here most of the day. So. Yay! Oh, by the way, I forgot to do the intro. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below so you automatically become a heart. And so you don't miss another one of these amazing videos, please hit the post notification bell button so you get notified whenever I post another video. So that is the intro. I forgot to do that at the start. That was an accident. So we'll be back once I am dressed. Okay, guys. So I'm back and I was going to film in mum's bathroom so I could show you my outfit of the day. And I will show you the outfit of the day. Don't worry. I just wanted to film out here so I can actually show you what's outside. And also, did you see mum's needing up my um, shaved bit on both sides? So yeah, now I just want to let it grow out. And once this grows out, I probably won't touch it again. Not for a long time. I just wanted to give it this look a go before I do completely grow it out. At the moment, I'm quite liking it. So, yeah. So, I want to show you what's outside. So, I have to turn my camera around. So, that's what's outside. So, that is my dog there, that white one in the bed. And that black and white one there, that's my grandmother's dog. His name is Rocket. I just really wanted to show you him, why he's like that. Because when he's laying face away from us, he looks like a fluffy thing on the ground. He doesn't look like a puppy. But you can see his little black, little pointy nose. This way, so you can definitely tell it's him. So his name is Rocket, he's like about a couple of weeks old. He's definitely not house trained. That's why he's outside. And Teddy, which is the white dog in the bed, he's outside because if he's not outside with Rocket, Rocket will start to cry. And he doesn't like being out there by himself. And from, obviously it wouldn't be fair if one dog's inside and one dog's outside. So that's why they're both outside until Rocket is house trained. Teddy's completely house trained. We're going to let him in as much as we want and he won't pee. But it's Rocket we're more worried about. So now I'm going to go into the bathroom and I'll show you the outfit of the day. Back in a sec. So I'm back and I'm in the bathroom. So this is the outfit of the day. It's just like this Jaguar top. It's glittery. This cardigan. And I've also got... These, I'm not too sure if you can see it, but these pants. So I've got these pants. They're quite airy, so they're not too hot. But if it does get too hot, I will take some layers off and I will change into some pair of shorts. Give me two seconds so I can turn the camera around. So as I was saying, if it does get a little bit too hot, I will take some layers off. And I've also, if it gets too hot on my legs, I do have a pair of shorts I can change into. But the reason why I'm so rugged up is because I've got the AC on. And the only reason why I've got the AC on is because it's so hot outside. So that's why I've got the AC on. So because it's really, 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 really hot outside. Too hot that I really can't cope 
at all. <laughs> and also, I've got my knitting to do. Sun right here. So, yeah. Normally, I do with crochet as well as knitting, but because my grandmother was here last night, I decided to only have knitting, so there's more room outside. Out in the laundry room. Not like a tell because my um floor bed's in the middle of the actual land room. I've putting it down yet. I'm too, a little bit too lazy to do it. But I'm gonna be doing a bit of this, and if anything else happens throughout the day, I'll let you know. If nothing else happens, I'll end the day. I'll end up ending making another clip, and I'll just end the day <laughs> with obviously a question of the day. But until I know what's actually going on, I'll. We'll keep in contact. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, and also another thing, and I know I said I'll see you in a little bit, but another thing is it's about the father of my child. And he is actually making, he's actually breaking the DVO because I found out that he, I don't know how he managed to even know it because I changed it once we separated. And that is my Facebook details. Apparently he knows that and he's stalking me. So from doing that, he's breaking the DVO. And I've got, I'm not going to say who's screen, who told me that he had my password and username. But someone told me. And I've got screenshots to prove it and I can take it to the courthouse. So I'm not going to mention his name. But the father of the baby, if I was you, I'd be very, very, very careful. Because you can end up behind prison bars right now and this is no joke and speaking about that youtube video that you made again about me you can make as many youtube videos as you want about me because all you're doing is breaking the dvo so yeah and also stop trying to guilt me for everything because how you're feeling is not my fault i didn't make you try to commit suicide I didn't make you feel sorry for yourself. That is your actions. And regardless if you want to kill yourself or not, you had no right to lay a hand on a woman. You had no right to treat me the way you did. And that is the only reason why I put the DVO up in the first place is because you're violent towards me. So how can I trust you with my daughter? I can't. Because if you hit, if you if you get pissed off, pissed, that annoyed and angry that you attack me, what kind of damage you will do to her? And don't say you won't, because I don't really trust you anymore. At all, I've moved on. I know there's a guy out there with my name on it, on him, waiting for me to find him. I know there's a guy out there for me, waiting for me to find him. I just haven't met him yet. And the next person I will enter into my life, I want to treat my daughter like her own, like their own. You've had you've had you've had literally nine months, nearly nine months to show me that you're cut out to be a father and that you're willing to be in her life and you've done nothing to prove to me and to my family that you want to be in her life and mine. The only thing you've showed me is that you want to get rid of me. And now that I'm gone, you're trying to get me back so you can get close to my daughter. It ain't going to happen. I'm a lot smarter than that now. My job as a mother, and, and that is to protect my daughter. And that is what I'm going to be doing until the day, she, until the day I breathe my last breath. Is to protect my kids. I don't care, I don't know how many kids I will have. But that's gonna be my job from now on in until the day I take my last breath. Is to protect my kids. Regardless if I'm sharing any kids with you or not. So do not take do not make me feel guilty because of your actions. I didn't make you do the stuff that you did. That's your fault. All of this is your fault. So do not blame it on me. Or my family. 
and don't drag your family involved either because your family has got enough on their plate as it is, especially your father's side. Your brother has got enough on his plate as it is, so has your sister. And I want them both a really, really big thank you for getting me out of the environment I was in. They knew I was going to get hurt. They can see it. And they knew I didn't deserve it. They knew they know what type of person I actually am. So I do owe them a big thank you. But do not put YouTube videos up on YouTube making me feel guilty, thinking it's all my fault. Because you know for a fact you're the only one to blame. You did this to yourself. You did this to our family. You left this family. You left it. And don't say you didn't because you fucked off on New Year's Eve. You left. You didn't care how I felt. You didn't care what I wanted. You left to go spend New Year's Eve and you didn't come back until I left your, your mother's place. You didn't care how I felt. You left the family. And I've done everything that I possibly can for this daughter. For our daughter, you've done nothing. So do not put YouTube videos up on YouTube making me feel guilty. Because none of it is my fault. It's all your fault. And if you do have my Facebook password and details, I suggest you get rid of it. Because if I have to, I can go to the cops, cop shop and you can get arrested. You're breaking the DVO. And the, my, the second I get discharged from the hospital after giving birth, I'll be taking my daughter up and I'll be putting her name on the DVO so you can't go anywhere near her. So don't even bother trying. And if you go for custody, you're in for the biggest fight of your life because I can actually afford a lawyer. You can't. And you've proven to me that you can't. Me and my family can actually afford a lawyer. So you'll be in for the biggest fight of your life if you go for custody. Because you won't win. And I think I have to put that out there. Because I'm over the fact that you're trying to, trying to make YouTube videos to approach me and to make me feel guilty. So that's all I've got to say to you. If I was you, I'll think long and hard of what you're doing because right now you can end up behind jail bars. And you are right about something. One thing, I did not want it to go to court. I did not want it to go that far. But you made it go that far. Not me. I had no choice at the time. And my only job is to protect my little girl. And that is what I'm going to be doing until the day I take my last breath. Even once I'm dead, I'll still protect my daughter. Because I'll guide her as a spirit. Same thing goes for any other kids that I have in the future. You're not allowed near this house. You're not allowed near me. You're not allowed near my father. You're not allowed near my mother. You're not allowed near my sister. And the, day, the second I get discharged in the hospital, the first thing I'm doing is going to the courthouse and then you'll be not whatsoever be allowed to go anywhere near my daughter. I did not want it to go down to that, but you've left me no choice. My job as a mother is to protect her. And my grandmother, I look up to her because she's a single mother to my mother. So she'll help me through this whole thing. I won't be alone in it. And if you ever want to have a chance in your daughter's life in the future, once, if I do decide to put the DVO down or if the DVO does expire, which is in the next five years, I'll pull your head together because I'm in control of the DVO. I can take it down whenever I want. I can extend it whenever I want. I'm in control of it. 
So if you want me to take down the DVR, I'll actually pull your fucking head in. Otherwise, kiss your daughter goodbye. Because you will not be seeing her until the day she turns 18. If she wants to. While she's a child, she's in my care. And unless the court, if the court gives you supervised, supervised visitation with the court, apart from that, she's in my care until the day she turns 18, until the day she becomes an adult. When she becomes an adult, if she does want to see you, that's up to her. I can't force her not to see you. Once she turns 18, because that's not my call to say, because she's an adult. But the day she tur until the day she turns 18, if you want to see her before then, while well, she's still a kid, I'll just pull your fucking head in. Otherwise, you've got no hope. And I'm sorry I have to do that to you, but you've left me no choice. It's only until now you're feeling guilty because I've because you're because you have to pay for what you've done, and that is because I put a DVO on you. And now you're making YouTube videos and that to make me feel guilty when I had when I have nothing to do with your guilt. It's not my fault that you feel guilty. You put it on yourself. No one can tell you not to hit me. Lay a hand on me. No one can tell you to do this and do that, but you've done it anyway. And because you've laid hands on me, do you really think for a second I'll let you have a chance with my daughter? I'll be joking. Is that what you think? You've got no hope for laying hands on my daughter because you won't be allowed anywhere near her. And it's going to take a lot more than words for me to accept you back into her life. You're going to have to show me with actions. With actions that you've changed. You can't just say it all over YouTube. And you can't just prove it in one day and think I'm going to accept you. It's got to be like for like a whole two years. It's going to be a long time before I can accept you into her life. And you can make as many YouTube videos as you want. Because I did not make you do any of the shit that you'd done. That was your choice. And you made poor choices and now you're suffering the consequences. So don't you dare... Make me feel guilty because it's not my fault. It's your fault at the end of the day. You've hit me that hard and that you've been that violent to me towards me. You've nearly put me in hospital. Do you really think I'll let you have a chance with my daughter? Get a life. That's all I've got to say because you've got no hope with her. I'm not going to let you lay a hand on her. And if you come anywhere near this house, I'm telling you now, and if you break into this house, I'll give you the biggest fucking hiding you've ever copped. I will belt the shit out of you. With my father's golf club. So if you come here and break into this home, you're in for a hell of a fucking waking it up. So all, you, all the stuff that you've done is not my fault. It's your fault at the end of the day. And all I'm doing as a mother is to protect my daughter. Protect my child. And that's what I'll be doing until the day I die. Even after that. I loved you and I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. I wanted to have a family with you. I wanted to grow old and I wanted to die with you. I had my future planned out with you. But you fucked it up. Just like Jason, I wanted to ha have a future with you. I wanted to have. I wanted you to be my happily ever after. But because of your actions, you've wrecked it for yourself. And to be honest, even if you didn't do the stuff that you did, I don't want you back. Because I'll I'll, I'll be the one getting hurt at the end of the day. 
that is why I don't want to have anything to do with anyone that I used to go to school with in that couple to special school. At that school. I don't want to have anything to, have to, do, to, do, to do with the people that I used to go to school with at that school. Because the moment I have entered them into my life, I'm the one that gets hurt. And because I can't read, doesn't make me dumb. I'm quite smart in a lot of things. And I'm particularly smart in the law. Because my grandfather's an ex-cop, I grew up with a cop. I grew up around a cop. Since I was three or two years old, I've been... I've known a cop, which is my grandfather. And I know the law back to front, inside out. So I'm pretty smart when it comes to the law, because I know most of the laws in Australia. And I know what you've done was illegal. You have no right to lay a hand on a woman. You have no right to lay a hand on anyone. In Australia, it's illegal to touch... In Australia, it is illegal to lay a hand on anyone. It's keepers up, regardless if you're female or male. You've hurt me physically and you've hurt me emotionally. So I'm done with you. So if I was you, if you want to have anything to do with your daughter, I'll pull you wrapped around. Oh, you've got no hope. And if you come to the hospital when I'm giving birth, if you do find out I'm in labour... They won't let you in, so I wouldn't even try. You're not allowed near me. And you're not allowed near my father, my mother, or my sister. And the moment I get discharged, you will not be allowed near her because I'll be putting her name on the DVO. So you are right about one thing. I did not want to go to court, but you've left me no choice. I'm going to leave it to that. So I'll be back in a little bit, but and I'll leave it to that. I said what I have to say, and I'll be back in a little bit once I figure out what I want to do next. Okay, guys. So I'm back, and it's actually so cute. So I'm going to show you what it is. I'm not too sure if you can actually see it. My daddy's laying there, my little babies. I'm not too too sure if you've seen it. I might go back when I'm editing the video and find out if you did. So, I'm actually decided I want to end the video here. And I know it's not an all-day video. And normally I would post an all-day video. But I've just realised that I did get paid yesterday. And I am going down to the shops later on tonight. Because Thursdays is late night shopping. It's because I still need to get some things for my hospital bag. And by the way, once I did do get everything from my hospital bag and my daughter's hospital bag... I'll make a video about it so you guys know what's in my hospital bag because I'll do a video saying what's in my hospital bag video. So do stay tuned for that. And I did go to my question of the day draw and I picked out a question. So I want to put you guys on a stand and I'll read out the question. But my stand's on the other side so I have to tilt my camera. So just give me two seconds. Okay, so I've actually tilted my camera. So, I've got the question of the day here. So, the question of the day is, what is your favourite colour? That's an easy one for me to answer. My favourite colour is a blue. I don't like the angle of this camera. Give me two seconds. Sorry that I keep on pausing the video because I really didn't like the angle of the last, of the other way, on the, when it's turned around the other way. But my favourite colour is blue. It's been my favourite colour ever since I've started high school. Seventh grade. So that's my favourite colour. I also do like teals in that as well. And hot pinks. But my favourite out of all the colours is blue. It's been my favourite colour for years. I love blue. I don't know why. My eyes, my, The colour of my eyes are blue. Everything I'm getting is now either blue or a bluey teal, but blue is my favorite color. So, yeah, that's the question of the day. What is your favorite color? Comment your comment down below your favorite colors if you got if 
you know what your favorite color is and you want to share it but mine is blue so if you've got any questions that you want me to put in the container comment them down below and I'll make sure I write them down and I'll put them in the container so that's the end of this video and like I said I know it's not an all-day video but I can't really help that because I'm going shopping later on and obviously I'm not going to film, film my mum because I'm not comfortable with, comfortable with the camera yet. Once I do get comfortable with the camera, I will start filming with other people. But until that day comes, I'm filming by myself and with my daughter, obviously, because she'll be a baby. So I really hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and become a heart and be part of the family and also so you don't miss another one another video like this one hit the post notification bell button so you get notified whenever i post bye